Just like all of you, I love golf. And I also love buying new golf clubs. I also love buying cheap second-hand golf clubs. So today, these are going back in the car and I'm taking you on a guided tour of the biggest second-hand golf shop in the UK. Guys, let's go in there. Let's see exactly what they have. Let's see what bargains they have and let's see if we can spend some money and potentially get a new set of golf clubs for the new year. So guys, you join us today at Golf Clubs for yeah. Cash, which is a yeah. new setup here in Warrington. So now, yeah, you may remember all those it's years it's ago, I did a challenge with Mid Handicap Mark, and, and we went can. up to Edinburgh to Golf Clubs for Cash That's HQ. <laughs> now, this is one of, if not the biggest, second-hand golf shop in England, and I, for one, can't wait to show you what's in here. Get in the comments below, let me know. If you could buy any second-hand golf club, what would it be, and how much would you want to spend? Because when we walk in here, you will see the vast array of what is available. There's also someone lurking around there. I don't know who that is. Hey, up, mate, you all right? <laughs> nice to see you, to see you nice. Right, but guys, we're gonna have a look at what we've got here. We've also got a couple of challenges coming up on the channel, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I've heard there's gonna be another little festive giveaway for you as well. So make sure you throw a like on this video and comment below, like I said, what would you buy? Should we kick things off at the TaylorMade and then work our way around through Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, the lady stuff, Callaway, Cleveland, Shrixen, Clearance Section, Wedges, Cobra, Honda, PXG, and for all you left-handed people out there, oh, there's even a left-handed section. Right, so Gaz is already looking at TaylorMade stuff. He's thinking what he could potentially use to beat me. There's nothing here, mate. There's nothing for you. Even here in the biggest golf second-hand shop in England, there's nothing that's going to help you beat me. Right, guys, we're going to have a challenge as well because there's going to be some content going on your channel, isn't there? But some great ideas for today, aren't we? I'm going to jump straight in because I remember going up to Golf Club for Cash in Edinburgh, and the big thing for me was the array of drivers that they had. And I mean, straight in, you could even go if you wanted to. This year, tailor-made stealth. For how much? I know it's going to be on here, isn't it? Three, three, nine. So like straight away you're thinking, you know what, rather than spending 500 quid, yeah, it's second hand, it's going to be a, an eight or a nine out of 10 condition wise. Let's put that back there. But, oh my God, is that? Do you remember these? That was like the first ever, yeah. I was going to say white, but it wasn't, R15, What's that? Oh. 129. I mean, rather than buying a, a beginner driver, if you're a newer golfer, I'm sure that's got to be a better value. Well, exactly. How's your coffee, mate? All right. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> Make a great coffee as well. Right. Oh, you know what I want? I want to see. Where are the irons? I wanted to see if they've got my old irons. TP, MB. And we've got Tor Preferred. We've got the RAC ones here. Look at them. Come in. Show them then, Laura. And, guys, do you remember these? And this is where, like, you could literally stay here all day and just have a conversation about clubs. Wow. TaylorMade P790 TI. TI. These were the proper yeah. expensive ones, weren't they? Titanium face. Recoil shafts in them, titanium face. I How mean, much? that could be probably the longest time it's ever been made in the world. And they're £1,086. They were like three grand brand new, I remember. And the four iron's ne never been here. <laughs> look, look at the difference in the four iron there. Compared to all the other ones. Unbelievable. Right, I'll put them back because I'm, uh, I'm not looking for a power iron, even though Gaz does it it further than me at the minute. P790, P loads of P790s. Cool. Right. I've actually seen something already as well. I was talking, we're going to have a word with Murray in a minute who, who kind of runs the place. Don't you, mate? How are you doing? But I, I found some clubs, I saw some clubs earlier, just at the corner of my eye, while we were talking. What do you think they were? Pass. Must I've, be something I've, you've had before. I've pointed to them. I don't remember. The um, copper co cobras. Oh, the Literally, they, they, they right, glimpse. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna have a look at those in a minute as well. Guys, also, get in the comments below, what would you like to see me maybe test and review from here as well, because we're doing loads of videos. But if you want to see kind of a second-hand series, then we're at the right place. Murray, why, why are we here? Why are we not in Edinburgh? Listen, this, well, we've just opened the store. It's the biggest second-hand golf store in England. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're all about trying to get 
people into golf more affordable, make, yeah. it, make it easy for them to play and you know, give the best variety of golf equipment there is on the market to, yeah. to the, the people local here in Warrington. So shop online, shop in store. We've just launched a new app as well. Yeah. So download that app and you're going to get exclusive offers, members discounts, etc. So yeah, it's going to be good. Awesome. And it's not, the thing is, it's not just clubs either. Like I love a tall bag. I am a little, uh, I have a little sweet spot for tall bags and things like that. Loads of cool stuff here. I'm going to, guys, should we cut to the chase and go and have a look at those RF irons? Because they look so cool. I might, I might even borrow them for a bit and take them to have a, a round with. Go for it. Have a look. So one of the videos that we're going to film today, it was actually Gary's idea. I'm going to give him the credit for this because he, he doesn't have a lot of ideas, but we are going to build the best forgiving set of golf clubs ever, second hand. Well, we've had 20 years experience in the industry, haven't we? We've seen all these clubs before. We've got all the shots, we've yeah, got all the clubs. So well. We're going to build the most forgiving set for a mid time cap golfer. Guys, subscribe if you want to see it. I reckon it could involve, where are they? Slingshots, I've just seen them. These. Do you remember these? Nike slingshots. Yeah. They were the irons, weren't they? They just made it. <laughs> Can so make, much yeah. easier. It's amazing how they do it. back for now because all I'm doing is kind of having a, a scope round, guys, for the videos and the challenges that we're going to film. But these are the ones. These are the, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Yeah. Here. Right. These are the ones. These are what caught my eye, guys. Just look at these. Cobra, Ricky Fowler, Ford MBs. They look incredibly small, but incredibly nice. And it's amazing actually looking at these how. People do buy things and then realise maybe they're not for them. They buy things and think, you know what, maybe I don't hit the ball like Ricky Fowler. I don't strike guys, there's not any way because <laughs> we've all been there and we've all done it. But also, this guy must have been a bit of a range rat with his six iron, because look at the state of that, and his eight iron. They're both a little bit worn. And maybe he's thought, you know what, I'm not good enough to hit these. The grips are like brand new as well. These are coming home with me. What are they? These are £649 for a set of blades, of copper. That's unbelievable value, isn't it? It is. These it are is. like, we, we might have to have a match with these as well. They're a bit saucy, aren't they? Because if you look, there's like no. And do you know what? What can you get for six hundred fifty pounds no. these days? Flora zooms in on that. There's like the, the smallest blade length in the world ever. And there's no way Gaz is hitting the middle of them. You know what Murray said earlier that we're interested in? If you're buying second-hand clubs, they will adjust the line off here as well. Yeah, so we're going to go upstairs in a minute. There's a workshop upstairs, and like, if something comes that's a bit damaged or it needs yeah. a new shaft or a new grip, there's a workshop up there. And you, like, you could almost custom fit yourself, couldn't you? Yeah. I'll put those back for now. Gaz! I know, yeah, to see if there were Red X2 in here. We both had Red Xs, didn't we? Yeah. Both for us. It, it's so random that, the, in fact, I've still got one. There, that's the one. You've got it. That's the one, the centre shaft. <laughs> we've, this got, is we've got to have a comp. See who's still got it. <laughs> it's unbelievable how, you, like, the nostalgia that comes back from looking at golf clubs that how you've used successfully. One three nine. One three. They've all the, all the value them, haven't they? We might not have enough space in car. <laughs> Oh he's, oh, he's pulled it. That's off the mat. Oh, PLD, black shaft. Oh, oh wow. That is mean. Look at that. PLD, all blacked out, stealthed out. 322 quid. It's like brand new, that as well. That's never been hit, has it? That's, that's yeah. 100%. I'm going to have to have a put with that. That looks... It's a one round special. That looks unreal. There's no sight line as well, guys. It's got to come home. It's got to come home. I'm going to end up spending a fortune today. There's a second row of ping pong. Right, let's be cheeky. Like, it says out of bounds up there, but we're going to go and have a look. We're going to look in the workshop and see exactly what's going on, what re grips are doing, what re shafts are doing. You, you, you love this kind of thing, don't you? Oh, this is all you. I can't wait. Let's go and have a look. I've just spotted a Yes C groove. They don't even make I'll these tell you anymore. what, Matt Fitzpatrick will buy that now. That is his putter, isn't that it? That is his putter. Tra Cali. Oh, I thought, is it Tracy he's got? Oh, no, he's got Tracy too, hasn't so, yeah. I don't think we're supposed to go up here, guys, but we'll go up anyway and we'll have a look. I mean, there's even more stuff up here. This is the mezzanine level. I mean, straight away, like, you're drawn to, like, look at this. Remember that? Yeah. 13 degree, it's three It's becoming really valuable, this Nike stuff now. Is it? How much yeah, is if it? you look online. 93 quid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's holding its price. That looks so good as well. It's a bit tiger-esque. That is you, that. It is, isn't That's it? That's coming on with you. 
Definitely. I, I love that that's in nice condition as well. This brings me back to this little workshop thing, you know, like from the pro shop days. I mean, I bet you're still doing a lot, aren't you? It is nice to know, though. You know, if you're buying second-hand clothes, that it's it's right, isn't it? You know, yeah. no dints in sharp, no ferrules missing. Yeah, things are being looked like properly checked it's, over. It's easy, they? though. We've all been on, you know, eBay and this shows you kind of the, the kind of extent of just how big this place is. Biggest second-hand golf shop in England absolutely massive but guys make sure you do stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see the videos coming up all the videos that we are going to do me and guys are going to have a few little matches we're going to have some head-to-heads and we're going to build the most forgiving golf set you could possibly build in second-hand golf guys thank you so much for watching smash that subscribe button if you want to see the videos coming up we're going to make so many videos for you today it is frightening and i very much look forward to seeing you all at exactly the same time tomorrow you're going down mate on this challenge little rac oh. sauce on that sauce